In this one, I wanna show you how to open and set up an account with Airbnb. So let's get the app open. It's gonna take you straight to this page. Either put in your telephone number and they'll send you a text message with the code that you can put into the app, or you can use all of the options below, signing in with your Apple, Google account, Facebook. I'm gonna sign in with my email. So I'm just gonna press that one. And as you can see, it changes. So I'm gonna put in my email address here. And then once that's done, give Airbnb your details. And this has to be your personal details. So your actual name as listed on what they call your government ID. So if you have a passport or a national ID card, it does have to be the same because this is actually you signing up. It isn't just a user. You have to be the person because you're gonna be staying in people's houses or renting out your house. So it has to be you. Once you've put in all of the correct details, go to agree and continue. You might wanna check that box at the bottom though, so you don't receive any spam emails over and over again from Airbnb. Before you get let into the app, you do have to agree to the Airbnb community commitment. This is essentially to say that you will treat everyone the same regardless of a lot of their race, religions, and other aspects, which is obviously going to be a good thing. So definitely agree and join for that, and it will let you start. You can turn on or skip notifications. I'm gonna skip on this occasion, but if you are listing a property and you need some updates, you might wanna turn that on in settings. I'm gonna skip for now. And now we're in Airbnb, you can see the homepage here. And just to finish up the setup of your profile, let's go to the profile tab. And there are a lot of different things that we have to input. Firstly, in your personal information, if you really do want to use Airbnb, you wanna go through and either rent a place or rent out your place, you are going to have to add your government ID. So press add here. As you can see, your ID information will not be shared with anyone else, but this is a safety precaution that Airbnb uses. So click on the next button, then simply choose the information of yourself. So I would choose UK, obviously whatever country you're from, just check that. And then also either the driving license, passport, ID card, whatever uh, national ID card that you have in your country. Press continue on that one. Airbnb would access the camera. So you're gonna to have to take a picture of your uh, ID card or your passport. I won't go through that in this one. Obviously don't want that online. Photograph your passport or ID card and then it will be added to Airbnb. If you signed in with a Facebook account or your email, you can also add your phone number. It's definitely a good option to do so. There are some certain things that they will send you messages for and not emails. So you can do that with this option there. When you've added everything, you can go up and press save in the top right hand corner and then all of your personal info is there. Payments and payouts is also important to get set up going into this option, payout methods for example. If the typical options that you use aren't there, go down to the link at the bottom, payment methods in other countries, pick the country that you are in. So for me, it's the UK, press continue. Then you can see in the UK, you can either add a PayPal account and you can use your bank cards as well. So for example, if I were to add my PayPal, just click on PayPal, press continue, enter the personal information of the account, go through and collect your currency. And even though I'm in the UK, I can choose either pound sterling or US dollars. For me, I'm just gonna choose pound sterling in this case. As this is an example with PayPal, just put in your PayPal email address and it will log in for you. You do have to add Airbnb to PayPal, so agree to all of this. It then takes you back to the payout method. You can add more if you like, maybe some other methods, some different cards. If you're done with that, just press exit in the top right hand corner. and It will take you back to the options page. You'll also want to update your profile, so definitely get a photo in there. What you can do is hit the edit button here and you can press camera icon in the bottom right hand corner of the top square. It will take you through to some options to either take a photo right then and there or choose a photo from your library. And that is how you add a profile picture. Also, when it comes to languages, you may want to edit that. You can pick any languages that you speak, so that's really good if you are renting out your place. You can just select as many as you want and then press done. And that is simply setting up your profile, your payments and your personal information on Airbnb. If you wanna log out of the app, go to the profile page, scroll all the way down to the bottom and there is a log out option. You can press that to log out of the app and log in with some more accounts as well. If it was helpful, please give the video a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next one.